Hello, my name is Sarah Shensky. I'm a guest author for Balance Community, and today I'd like to speak a little bit about the SMC 3-inch double Prusik mining pulleys. So these guys are some of the most efficient and best and beefiest pulleys on the market that are applicable for the slap mining genre, and I'd like to try to tell you why, and then more so I'd like to compare them to a few of the other pulleys on the market and just figure out how much better they actually are. Uh, please note that this video is designed to coincide with an article on the Slack Science website. And so if you watch this video, not reading the article, you won't see the actual results of the test. So to see the results of the test, you'll have to refer to the article. The double three inch SMCs have a three sigma failure strength of 60 kilonewtons, so they're extremely strong. They also have sealed ball bearings, which helps uh, makes them less likely to fail under misaligned loads. And they'll accept a half inch or five eighths inch shackle quite easily. And we're going to compare them to the Camp 2 and 3 8 inch doubles. The first thing I want to point out is how loose the side plate is from misalignment. Even at 1,000 pounds tension, the side plate is still quite loose and stays that way all the way up through almost 2,000 pounds of tension. Here I'd like to point out how the sheave is actually running against the side plate here. It's misaligned only at 1,000 pounds tension too. On this side here it's correct but the other side's messed up and in doing so the sheave runs against the side plate which creates tons of drag. Tightening and detensioning is very noisy. The pushing pulleys are quite inefficient. By contrast the 3 inch SMC's make no noise while tensioning or while detensioning. The sealed ball bearings are critical to keeping these pulleys quiet. But how efficient are the 3 inch SMC's? Well here I show you how I actually test their efficiency. However please note that these cuts are actually staged. In the real test I had two strands of rope running through this pulley. The second strand was pre-tensioned and that was so that when I pulled on the first it would stay in a line and not hit the side plates therefore skewing the results. In the first test, I applied 100 pounds of force to the pull strand. And in the second test, 300 pounds. I chose the 100 and 300 pound tension values because in a 5 to 1 base system, those values represent the approximate individual strand tension values for 500 and 1,500 pound slack line loads, respectively. But how do the 3 inch PMPs perform in an actual 5 to 1 slackline setup? The last and most important test I did reflected this question both by testing the 5 to 1 base and the 5 to 1 with a 3 to 1 multiplier system using both the Grigri and the Protraction brakes. Lastly, you may notice that I do not have a slack line connected. Well, that's okay, and preferably actually, because we are only testing the efficiency of the pulleys. Adding a slack line actually skews the repeatability and accuracy of the test slightly. And all the slack line really does is act as a ex spring extension of the anchor, but it has very little to no practical effect on the efficiency of the pulleys. But yes, to confirm, I did actually test this with a slack line multiple times using a variety of different materials and it had no practical effect on the efficiency of the pulleys. The 3 inch PMPs are the best pulleys out there for long lining. There is nothing that is more efficient that's not going to weigh multiple pounds per pulley. So if you're a long liner, a trick liner, high liner, come check out the results of this test. Balancecommunity.com slash slack science. This is Sarah Kshensky. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.